Okay, time now for Tech Tuesday. I am very excited about this one. This time Google says Gmail is entering the Gemini era. So our tech guide, Mike Pru, is here with the details. Mike, good to see you again, my friend. Happy New Year. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. Man, we made it to 2026. Can you believe it? We did. Look, I'm really excited about this. So let's get right to it. We've got two key AI features coming to Gmail. Organizing and composition. So let's start with organizing. This could help a lot of us who have, I don't know, perhaps a few thousand unread emails in our inboxes and summarize things. How is it gonna do this? Yeah, look, I'm one of those people, unfortunately, I have over a thousand emails in my inbox. Yep. I think over a hundred of them are unread. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a few things under this. Uh, it is, uh, first and foremost, the AI overviews that we're all seeing now in Google search results are coming to our Gmail. Uh, and so these are things where uh, it will summarize long email threads for us. Uh, premium users will be able to query, actually ask your inbox certain questions, like something that's on my mind right now is find receipts for all my charitable donations in 2025 as I prepare my taxes. Uh, and it will give me the search results uh, to do just that. Uh, and then the third area in this sort of organizing category that you're calling it uh, is uh, what's called the AI inbox that you'll see soon as one of the inboxes in your Gmail, which uh, highlights the most important stuff. So it'll reveal things like imp um, important appointments coming up, uh, other things that the AI will deem as the must see and must read emails for you. Okay, so let's talk about writing emails because it's also gonna help users do that. What's it able to do? Couple things there. Uh, so certain types of users, if you're premium or not, will be able to draft emails from scratch. That always makes me a little mm. nervous, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, but then all it's also coming is smart replies that uh, will learn your tone of voice. So when you get an email from someone, it will give you a head start with a draft reply to that individual, supposedly in your tone of voice. And then the third thing is proofreading. So it'll do things for like advanced grammar and all sorts oh. of other stuff to, to make you sound smart and polished. <laughs> Listen, fascinating. <laughs> I love all of this. Obviously, there are privacy concerns. What's the company saying about those? Uh, the company is saying what what any of these companies always say <laughs> is that uh, in this case uh, yeah. that this these features are are governed by the trusted uh, privacy that mm -hmm. Google has across <laughs> all of its other platforms. You know what I would say there is you know be sure to always read the terms of service and the privacy agreements and make decisions for yourself. But the reality is, look, your data is in with uh, Google now across all sorts of platforms. Uh, um, I hate to say it, but it kind of is what it is. Yeah, it's out there. Uh, one quick question. We've got, only got 30 seconds left, Mike. If you want to sort through those thousands of emails that are in your inbox, but you don't want it to delete important ones, say from someone special in your life who's passed on, can the AI help you do that? Um, the feature right now, as it is stated, um, isn't necessarily going to delete or take action on your emails. Uh, okay. It's more searching through and sorting through the emails that you have. Okay, but you could still use that to help. If Even if you're the one doing the de click delete, you can you still can hey, find all my emails that are spam. Emails. 100%. You can help to yep. surface certain emails. So think about it as, you know, writing search queries as you would in Google using yeah. natural language yeah. to your inbox. But again, that feature is only for premium users. You have to pay a monthly subscription to be okay. able to do that. Mike Pru, thank you so much. VP and Research Director at Forrester. We appreciate you as always. See you next week. You bet.